All right, this is part two of our lesson on solving by the quadratic formula. Um, we're going to just continue practicing solving using the quadratic formula. Guys, please um, do not copy off of this video. You should not have a pencil or a pen in your hand right now. So if you're watching this video, um, maybe you got a problem wrong, you're not sure how to do it. So um, watch the video with no pencil in your hand. Learn how to do it. Uh, but then go back and do the problem by yourself without watching the video. That is how you learn. And uh, if you're on YouTube watching this video and you're not one of my students, uh, this is not your homework assignment. Um, once you get the idea and you feel like you know what you're doing, um, I suggest you pause the video as soon as the new problem appears. For example, all right, if you watched the previous video, you just saw me do problem number four. I showed you how to do it, and uh, now we're about to do problem number five. So go ahead and pause the video, try to do problem number five by yourself, and then hit play and see how you did. Yeah, I'm just going to have to believe that you did that. Um, anyway, the first step is to find the discriminant. In this problem, A is 9, B is 12, and C is 4. I would always find the discriminant first if I were you. B squared minus 4AC. Okay, so that's going to give us um, 12 squared minus 4 times 9 times 4. And there is zero cool all right the discriminant is zero all right so we already know that we will have one real solution uh, but let's go ahead and do the quadratic formula okay so the quadratic formula of course is this opposite of b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a okay so in this case opposite of b so b is 12 so opposite of b is negative 12 plus or minus square root all right the discriminant goes there i just want it to be blue all over 2a well 2a is 2 times 9 so that's 18. Um, we already know the discriminant is going to be 0 which poof that's about to be gone okay so that's really going to just immediately give us x equals negative 12 over 18. Uh, yeah, because square root of 0 is 0. All right, and adding and subtracting nothing, uh, you can just erase it. So that's going to be negative 12 over 18. Okay, so it's just a matter of reducing this now, right? Um, you should be able to do this very much by hand. Both of these are divisible by 6, you know, so divide them by 6. Um, so that's going to give you x equals negative 2 over 3, negative 2 thirds. And that is the final answer. Um, if you have some problem reducing, you know, kind of shame on you a little bit if you need a calculator to do this, but. Um, in the meantime, it will do it, uh, negative 2 over 3. There you go. Again, please pause the video and try to do problem number 6 by yourself. And uh, put your pencil down in any case. Um, okay, well, before we do anything else, we need to get 0 on one side. So you definitely want to go ahead and subtract 4 from both sides. All right, before you do anything else. So that's going to give us x squared minus 2x minus 4 equals 0 and then you can go on with the problem okay uh, remember a is 1 b is negative 2 and c is negative 4 okay not positive 4 negative 4 okay let's go ahead and calculate our discriminant of b squared minus 4ac. Okay, so that's going to be negative 2 squared. Got to use parentheses if you're going to trust a calculator. Minus 4 times 1 times 
negative 4. Okay, get ready for the discriminant. And there it is. 20 is the discriminant. Alright, so we have our discriminant of 20. Okay, now let's go ahead on with the rest of the problem. Alright, the quadratic formula is x equals the opposite of b. So b is negative 2, so the opposite of b is positive 2. Plus or minus the square root, discriminant's going to go there, all over 2a. In this case, 2 times a is just 2. And uh, our discriminant is 20. So let's go ahead and put that there. All right, let's simplify uh, the square root of 20. Now, you should be able to do this by hand, all right, once again, because, um, you know, I'm just going to do this off to the side. The square root of 20 um, splits up as the square root of 4 times square root of 5, and square root of 4 is 2, so that's 2 radical 5. Now, having said that, uh, you got to love the TI-30XS multi-view. 2 radical 5. Okay, so that gives us this. All right, square root of 20, there's your 2 radical 5. Now, once again, I'm noticing that all three of these numbers uh, are divisible by the same number. They share a GCF. Um, I always like to put a heart around those. Okay, all right, that was a terrible heart, but whatever. It's a Grinch heart. Okay, um, and the heart is just to remind me that it has to be all three of these, okay? Two, two, two. I cannot just do these two. If this blue two had been a three, I would have to leave it, all right? But if all three are divisible by something, uh, then I'll do it, okay? And if I do that, if I divide them all, uh, I'm going to get, well, two, uh, you know, if you divide these by two, you're going to get ones all around. So that's 1 plus or minus radical 5, all right? This 2 down here was a 1, but I don't put a 1 in the bottom. And I don't put a 1 before the radical, so that's why it's just this. So you can go ahead and leave your answer in this form, but understand that this is two separate answers, okay? This is really 1 plus radical 5 and 1 minus radical 5. But I'm going to let you leave it like this in this unit. Okay, so that was number six. Let's go on to number seven. All right, here we go. A is one, B is four, and C is negative two. Let's go ahead and find our discriminant first. B squared minus four AC. All right, that's gonna be four squared minus four times one times negative two. All right, that'll give us our discriminant. Brat 24. So our discriminant is 24. Okay, now let's go on with our quadratic formula. X is equal to the opposite of B. So that's going to be negative 4 plus or minus square root. All right, and then we got our b squared minus 4ac, but that's already 24 all over 2a. Um, 2a is just 2. Um, so, uh, and there goes our 24. Now, again, you should be able to simplify this radical 24 business uh, by yourself. Okay, square root of 24, um, that's the same thing as square root of 4 times square root of 6. And uh, square root of 4 is 2, so 2 radical 6. But um, if you can't handle the truth, then um, the TI-30XS multi-view is for you. All right, 2 radical 6. All right, so that gives me this. Um, I always look to see if these three numbers are all divisible by the same thing. Is there a GCF? And there is. Uh, and whenever there is, I like to draw a little heart around it. All right, so it'll be really cute when I'm seeing you guys do this. If I see the heart, I'll know you've been watching the videos. Um, yeah, because all three, it has to be all or nothing. I couldn't just do the pink ones. It's got to be the pinks and the blues, all three. Uh, they are all divisible by two, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. 
All right, and if I do that, that's gonna give me x equals negative two plus or minus radical six. Okay, so that is the answer for, what was this again? Number seven. All right, negative two plus or minus radical six. Okay, um, let's move on and talk about number eight. Okay, I've already got zero on one side, so I can go ahead and uh, do find the discriminant. So A is 3, B is 4, and C is also 3. Always find the discriminant first. B squared minus 4 A. Well, hold on. I was just writing down the formula first. B squared minus 4 AC. That's the discriminant. Okay, so that's going to be 4 squared minus 4 times 3 times 3 okay yes so that will give me the discriminant once I do it hmm there you go okay negative 20 check it out alright so we've got a discriminant of negative 20 alright that tells us we will have imaginary solutions two imaginary solutions but for right now let's get on with the quadratic formula which tells us that x equals the opposite of b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac well that's just our negative 20 alright all over 2a 2a that's 2 times 3 so that'll be 6 now uh, as soon as you see this negative you know it's going to be i something so um, just focus on the square root of 20 and uh, again, this is something you should be able to do yourself. Square root of 20 is the square root of 4 times square root of 5. Square root of 4 is 2, so 2 radical 5. Um, okay, so that's going to give me x equals negative 4 plus or minus. All right, just keep the color coded. Um, square root of 20, all right, notice I'm ignoring the negative because I know that's i. So square root of 20 is 2 uh, radical 5, and that i just goes right here, right in the middle. Okay, now I always look to see if, if these three numbers are divisible by the same thing. And once again, there is a GCF, so let's do that. All right, I like to put my heart around it. Okay, I put my heart into everything as you can see um, all of these are divisible by 2 okay so let's do that if I divide all of these by 2 then I'm gonna get okay x equals negative 2 plus or minus i root 5 over 3 okay alright that arrow is in my way. So this is the final answer. Okay, that's it. Alright, so that was number eight. Okay, let's do number nine. This will probably be the last problem on this particular video. Alright, again we don't have zero by itself. So we need to make that happen. So let's go ahead and subtract eight from both sides before we go any further okay so if I do that that's gonna leave me with x squared minus 7x minus 8 equals 0 okay so quadratic formula is what we gotta do so a is 1 b is negative 7 and c is negative 8 so first let's find the discriminant b squared minus 4ac alright that's going to be negative 7 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 8 alright please if you're gonna use a calculator for this which you shouldn't have to um, but if you are you have to put this in parentheses alright there you go and there you go 81 all right, so my discriminant is 81. All right, so I, fine, I, I will have two real solutions. 
Now let's go ahead and calculate and see what we have. The quadratic formula, x equals opposite of b, so that's gonna be positive seven, all right, since b is negative seven, so positive seven. Then it goes plus or minus square root, plus or minus square root, b squared minus four ac, well, that's what we already did, that's our 81. All right, in fact, let me just do this whole part in blue. All right, so I've got the square root of 81 all over 2a, all over 2a. Well, a is 1, so 2a is just 2. Um, but check it out. Square root of 81 is just 9. So, you know, um, easy peasy lemon squeezy. So this will be 7 plus or minus 9. All right, just keeping the color coding for one more step. Okay, and I'm just going to bring it up over here. So, um, it's time to split this up, all right, because uh, I can do this further. So, this is going to be 7 plus 9 over 2, or 7 minus 9 over 2. All right, I didn't do this before because... I can't add with radicals and i's and stuff anyway. But when it's just a regular number, you have to keep going. You cannot just leave it as 7 plus or minus 9 over 2. You got to do it like this. Okay, um, so that's going to give us what? 7 plus 9, so that's 16 over 2. Uh, 7 minus 9, so that's negative 2 over 2, right? Okay, so that's going to give us... Um, 16 divided by 2 is 8, and then negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So 8 or negative 1. That is our answer to number 9. Okay, um, and that's long enough for this video, so I'm going to go ahead and stop this here. I hope it was helpful to you. Um, if you have the worksheet, in your actual hand try to do the rest of the worksheet by yourself and just check your answers on the answer key otherwise I will see you on the next video